good afternoon everyone a uh, very warm welcome and today i'll be talking about my journey through uh, the last one and a half months reaching this particular milestone and i just want to at the outset i want to thank my family and all of the people who have supported me in this journey and uh, the sole purpose of me recording this presentation is to help you uh, to share my journey and if you even find one thing out of this that makes it doable clear concise for you then i think this has served its purpose so with that said let's start so these are my credentials and i'll be going through the last one and a half month of my preparation how uh, which were the resources that we used and uh, how was the execution done and uh, what are the mindset shifts that are needed so um i <coughs> Uh, as i mentioned before if i can achieve this rank so can anyone with a structured approach and of course you have to be focused so uh, at the very beginning what i did was um, there is this concept of public pledge given in the 5am club by robin sharma so i wrote down in my diary which was my last minute revision uh, book and uh, i told my family about um uh, i want to get all india rank 1 in this particular exam and uh, i'll be diligent and i'll be focus in my preparation over the next 5 weeks because this is something that is very important to me so if you take care of your why and you have enough belief in yourself which is something that is a must you can easily uh, stay focused and uh, have this manifestation so even on the day of my exam uh, the back of admit card is your of work page i wrote down the same thing that i'll pay attention to each and every question and i'll put my heart into understanding and finding the right answer when i attempt the test so you don't get lazy that way you know and uh, this is very essential for accountability in your preparation and uh, which is it is very critical for scaling your efforts as well so um what i used for uh, was i am a cover to cover person i went for a complete textbook read before and until uh, the point that i had finished it i did not go for mcqs you can always go for something that's suitable to your own way of reading so my thing was uh, there is this book called uh, atul kumar's uh, retina medical and surgical management it is like a very concise version of ryan's retina and it is uh, a doable target if you have a deadline so i had that and uh, 724 or so pages of this book are uh, is something that's totally doable and uh, i uh, had this target by 30th october that i should finish this particular book and that was very helpful in generating a concept base for me and helping me solve questions after that so that is what i'd like to say <coughs> also uh, a very important thing is not don't just wait for mcqs you also can start making notes of important topics and uh, have bullet points in your last minute revision book even when you start your textbook which is what uh, is recommended uh, and it will be very helpful to you so this was my uh, timeline i had my frco oral exam on uh, 10th of october and uh, after a week or so of rest i initially uh took a break and then i started with my preparation so 5 weeks 22nd november was my exam theory exam and 16th october is when actually i started preparation seriously started with atul kumar's book and over the next 10 days 14 days i finished that and following that i moved to mcqs so these are the core resources that are recommended uh atul kumar uh, is again uh, something that is very helpful even in my interview they asked which is a book that can be helpful and uh, many pgs read so i answered that i use this book and uh, this was something familiar with the faculties as well then uh, there there are there are very good review books i'll be sharing the links of uh, this particular pdfs in the description below so uh, please uh, use them for your preparation if you are planning for any this is uh, doable for you for any exam so fellowship theory exams you can go through them or any set exams or fico exams frco exams these are uh, really good they test your concepts and they help you build 
a strong foundation which can be helpful throughout your journey uh, i did go through them in my pg but uh, this was like a full uh, hearted attempt in the last 5 uh, weeks and uh, again i can't emphasize this enough uh, massachusetts uh, viral estate and uh, kenneth chern are something that uh, are the books that are must for your preparation and you should definitely go through the for uh, retina 50, 60% questions are from uh, the particular sub specialty and remaining 40% are from general so you should definitely co- cover at least the main retina part of this particular books uh, 150 or so questions in each book will give you 300 questions and uh, that is uh, highly recommended and then of course uh, you have to be familiar with the latest updates and how uh, american academy of ophthalmology releases its new edition every year is something that is going to be helpful there are study questions at the end of each volume and uh, you should definitely go through the recent questions and related uh, reading on important topics uh, is something that i did and it did help me in my exam uh, the images are really good in ao so please uh, please go through that and uh, there is this particular uh, compilation of um, friedman uh, massachusetts uh, uh, kenneth churn and american acad ophthalmology so uh, this is particularly for retina and vitreous so if you want to just finish one particular book then this is something that is highly recommended this is the compilation and i'll be sharing that as well with you in the description below and uh, these are my resources uh, please make the best of them and uh, again uh, if i can do it so can you so how was my routine like uh, i uh, like to have some hobbies and have the feel good hormones uh, endorphins and all those effects in my day to day basis and that helps me stay um, it helps me something it, it there has to be something different from what you do on a daily basis so this was my ritual i'll go for some sports and weight lifting in the morning and uh, after uh, 10 uh, 9:30 10 i'll start my reading and uh, initially it was with uh, reading textbook atul kumar and then following that it was all about solving mcqs and most importantly uh, making my own last minute revision book so that is something that i did and uh, in the evening it is very useful to go through your own notes and revise the important points that you have noted so that way you can prune into the uh, you can prune all the less important topics and have the important concepts integrated so that is what i did uh <clears throat> an anecdote that that i'd like to share in this journey was like 12 days before when i was playing uh, tennis i had a bad ankle sprain uh, i had to stop playing and that could have uh, affected me in a negative way that could have spoiled my mood i would have cribbed on uh, how this thing happened to me and uh, i won't be able to have this fun anymore so instead of that by some uh, divine i think uh, notion i was able to use that very positive positively i was thinking that i'm getting 4 hours a day extra for my reading and this new found new found uh, time was very helpful for me to revise massachusetts and uh, kenneth twice so i finished them uh, once before and then i again went through all the mcqs again and uh, that couldn't have been possible if i would have kept on playing tennis and i would have been exhausted and i would have reduced my revisions i think so uh, please remember that you may have setbacks in this journey but each setback may be an opportunity and uh, you should definitely <coughs> stay committed to your goal and uh, this is something that i thought i should share to make it i think um uh, worth it for you and of course uh, there is there has to be some behavioral practices there has to be equilibrium you should avoid the uh, dopamine surge that you get every time you open your social media instagram and have this doom scrolling tendon tendency is you wasted 15 minutes 30 minutes but is that all you also have the residual thoughts from whatever you have seen while you read and that affects your focus so um, i'd suggest uh, you try to substitute them with something that helps fortify your reading so i had uh, this habit of uh, listening to podcasts even before my 
uh, PG exams and I again went for the same thing. So I was listening to Bhagavad Gita podcast by Shailendra Bhatri, Shailendra Bharti. And uh, also I was reading books like The Science of Religion by Swami Yogananda Paramhansa. And uh, even if you're not spiritual, uh, this kind of things help you get out of the vices, uh, perceived vices that we have. And uh, it has always uh, reinforced my reading. So I suggest that you do something that's suitable for your own philosophy and uh, this will definitely help. So uh, to summarize, I started with public accountability. I informed, you should inform somebody who trusts about what your motivation is, what your goals are and uh, their support is something that you, sh you should definitely hone in by saying that and by staying committed. And uh, the visualization technique by <clears throat> the power of your subconscious mind, which is given uh, by Mr. Joseph Murphy, is again something that I re-emphasize because uh, that is uh, going to um, not only improve your own internal domain of control, but it actually changes your environment. Uh, that is what I feel. So I kept on uh, having this uh, visualizations so uh, I try to do that actively thrice a day where I see that I'm getting the best rank possible, where I see that uh, I am making my best effort to see that I do justice to what I want and uh, that does provide you uh, determination when you read, when you practice MCQs and you go for your exams and it actually calms your uh, sympathetic system. So that is what I personally felt and I suggest that if you find this doable, you please do that and it actually will manifest. So the final 12 days when uh, that is after my ankle sprain, what I did was I did not go for anything new. You should always uh, focus on something that uh, gives you a visual recall at the moment at the 90 minute window that you will get only once for all the topics that are supposed to be remembered. So revise whatever you have read till that particular point. And if you have active recall that is by MCQ solving, that is by going through your last minute revision books, that is going to be very helpful. Second revision of uh, Massachusetts and Kenneth is what I did and I had that uh, last minute revision book revisions as well. And uh, I kept on adding more questions as I felt that uh, this can be something that can be asked. So again that iteration that writing down gives you a memory when you do that and it will be very helpful. Um, prioritize your well-being so don't uh, lose your sleep, don't lose your uh, nutrition and have some rituals that help you manage your stress because this is again something that is very high stakes. Uh, there are no chances, there are 10 other people who are fighting for the same seat and it is important that you stay focused. So the key takeaways and uh, actionable checklist that I'll, I'm sharing at the end is you can always analyze and prune, uh, drop the low yield topics and then repeat. This is a way to go about things and if you are a cover to cover person, go for the MCQs once you finish your theory and that helps you implement your thoughts. Uh, at least two or three revisions of MCQs are needed. Uh, particularly for the subspecialty that you are appearing for and always compile comprehensive last minute revision notes. I can't emphasize this enough. If you have seen my previous videos, FICO, FRCO prep, I have told the same things that you get at least a 10% uh, jump by revising that particular note the day before exam or the, on the morning of exam. And this is something that is a game changer. So please, please implement that. And uh, all the PDFs of the books that I used will be given to you through Google Drive links in the description. So that is what I'd like to say. And uh, just to end the uh, session, what I'd like to show is a quote. So as you can see here, this is a quote by Steve Jobs, which says that uh, it is only through retrospect you realize uh, by your gut instinct, by karma, that things do fall in place. Uh, dots do get connected and all you need to do is have a uh, 
so believe in yourself and uh, should this presentation prove helpful please please share and feel free to connect with me on social media i'll be very happy to discuss uh, your strategies and uh, guide you on exam planning if you want that so all the very best take care see you